Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and I hope you're having a great day so far. My name is Lorraine and my channel is Lowe's Life and Lessons and I'm really happy to spend some time with you today and I hope that you will enjoy this video. This is about changing our mind. One thing that we women do, in fact all humans do, is we change our mind and there's reasons for that. Sometimes they are very good thought out logical reasons. Other times it's just an instinctive feeling that we have that we just don't want to do what we said we were going to do. Before we get into all that, of course, I want to share with you my scent of the day, which is a vintage Chanel number no. five eau de parfum. Now this is one of these refillable um, containers and I'm not able to, I, I think you're supposed to just press this, but I'm not able to separate this. I purchased this, this used to be a tester uh, from somebody who collects vintage perfumes and then sells them. Well, actually she collects lots of vintage items, including perfume. And this one I would say is probably from the 60s, maybe the 70s. I'm not even sure if this kind of refillable container still exists but this is a beautiful Chanel number no. five and you know what Chanel number no. five is still one of the best selling perfumes in the world it was released in 1921 and of course last year was the big centennial celebration of the release of Chanel number no. five and now of course it's 101 years old this perfume was one of the first, if not the first, perfume made with aldehydes. And it has notes of aldehydes, of course, ylang ylang, neroli, lemon, rose, iris, jasmine, lily of the valley, civet, amber, vanilla, oak moss, patchouli, and others. It's a wonderful complex fragrance. The vintage version of Chanel number no. five is very long lasting. It's a darker version. I do have a couple of Chanel number no. fives that are more recent releases and believe me this is a darker more intense version. It's a high class perfume. Now if you are curious about how Chanel number no. five came to be, this is a book written by, let's see, Tyler J. Mazzeo. Not sure if I'm saying that correctly. The Secret of Chanel No. 5. It's fascinating. This book describes the history of the world's most famous perfume. It's really interesting. It's called The Secret of Chanel No. 5. I think it was not until I was in my late 40s that I realized that I have the right to change my mind and I don't really have to explain my reasons to anybody. I think before that, I must have been brought up somehow to think that once you make a decision on something, you have to stick to it, you have to be loyal, you have to be committed. And I really think that it was not until I was in my late 40s that I realized, you know what, Lorraine, you have the right to change your mind about anything and you don't have to explain to anybody. Now, in all fairness, if you've made a promise to somebody that's a different matter. But we're going to get more into that. I'm going to get ready for the day. I'm going to put on my makeup. I prepare my skin by cleansing with a gel cleanser. I've applied my eye cream, a vitamin C serum, a light moisturizer, and of course, sunscreen. I won't be saying too much about these products that I'm using today because I want to tell you about these times when I changed my mind about things but I will list and link the products in the description box below. I do have a little list that I'll be referring to. So let's get started. Now the first thing, and of course these things that I'm talking about are in no particular order. Um, but for many, many years, for example, I drank Diet Pepsi. And of course I thought, well, you know, there's no sugar in it, no problem. <laughs> but I don't know what the scientific thing is about it, but I'll tell you, I certainly became addicted to Diet Pepsi and I drank quite a bit every single day for years. And I decided, you know what, I don't think this is really good for my body. There's no nutrition in this, even if there's no sugar. And so I changed my mind and I stopped drinking Diet Pepsi. It wasn't really that difficult. Um, I still enjoy the odd Diet Pepsi, but I certainly don't want to get 
into the habit of drinking Diet Pepsi. In fact, most of what I drink now is water. I don't even drink juices anymore. So occasionally I'll have tomato juice, but I drink water pretty much all the time. Now, the next thing that I changed my mind about was, well, first of all, I can remember when I was probably in my early 30s and I remember visiting a girlfriend and we were talking about life as we do. Now, I just want to pause a bit and just share with you what I've been doing lately. This is the Mario's Set and Prep Eye Primer and it includes a very light powder, very finely milled. And what I've been doing lately is just putting a little sweep of that powder all over that eyeshadow primer. I just find it smooths it out and it um, helps the eyeshadow stay a bit more. So that's what I've been doing lately. Anyway, so my friend and I were talking about the meaning of life and, you know, and, and I remember us saying, well, surely by the time we're 40, you know, we must have it all figured out. Those people who are 40, they must have it all figured out. Well, did I ever change my mind about that? My goodness. And even at 75, I don't have it all figured out. That's for sure. I think that we keep growing, we keep learning, and um, we never have it all figured out. The next on my list is eating dark chocolate. Well, everybody says, well, you know, have a couple of pieces of dark chocolate every day. It's good for you. It has antioxidants and I don't know what else, but it's supposed to be pretty good for you. And look at that. You can have a treat. You can have a little treat every day. Well, I did that for maybe a year or so, and this is fairly recent. And I decided that I didn't like dark chocolate that was any more percentage of cocoa than 70%. So I was sticking with the 70% and honestly, I don't like it. I don't like the taste of it. I don't enjoy it. So it really turned out to be not a treat for me. So what I decided was that if I'm going to have any chocolate, what I will do, I will have some milk chocolate, but I'll have it only occasionally. <laughs> and so far that has been working. So I've absolutely scrapped the dark chocolate. I've decided I just don't like it. And speaking of changing my mind, I want to share with you this beautiful Violet Voss eyeshadow palette. It's called Sunkissed Summer. Look at these beautiful colors. This is gorgeous. And where did I get this? I got this in my monthly Boxy Charm subscription. Now, for about a year, I was subscribed to um, Ipsy and I got the Ipsy glam bag so um, but it only gives you the uh, trial size and I don't know I just I didn't really I didn't care for that so somebody told me about BoxyCharm so I changed my mind and I subscribed to BoxyCharm and that's where I got this beautiful eyeshadow palette now, yes, they are full sizes, and, you know, I probably, within a few months, I'll probably put the subscription on hold to give me some time to use up all those products. But that is another case where I changed my mind. Not because there was anything wrong at all with Ipsy. I just wanted to try something different. And that's what I'm doing. And I will put the links to those two subscription programs in the description box below for you. A few years ago, I discovered apple cider vinegar and that it has so many health benefits. So I thought, well, I'm going to have some of that every single day. Now, apple cider vinegar has a very strong taste. I diluted it in an eight ounce glass of water with a touch of lemon juice and I would drink that every single morning and I just felt that I was doing my body a great service. When I first started my YouTube channel that's what I was doing. I was having this glass of uh, apple cider vinegar in water every single day and I would talk about that in 
in my videos and I would say how good it is for you and you know this is a good thing to do every morning well <laughs> well you know what again like the dark chocolate I decided you know what I don't like the taste of this I just don't like it I'm just I can't get used to it I can't get past that very sour taste now some people don't mind it at all some people put it on salads and I have no doubt that it is very good for you but I just could not <laughs> get past that sour taste so I changed my mind and I stopped drinking that every single day. In the last, I don't know, 20, 30 years, you know, a decade, as you get older, a decade is very short. <laughs> I pretty much stopped making any quick decisions about any big thing, whether it would be travel or buying something big like a TV or, for example, now I'm thinking of buying a new carpet for my living room, a new area rug from my living room. The one I have is, oh, probably five or six years old. It was not expensive. And it's, it's not in great shape, but it's not in horrible shape either. And of course, having a cat, <laughs> he's thrown up on it a few times and I've had to spot clean it. But you know, uh, it's going to cost like maybe $500. And to me, $500 is, you know, quite a bit of money. So it's something that I just don't think about and then say, yes, I'm going to do that. And then I go out or I order one online. No, I don't do that at all. I think about things for days sometimes until I really make up my mind. And I feel much more secure when I come to a decision. By the way, I have my window open today. So if you can hear some tinkling in the background. It's uh, wind chimes coming from somewhere, but that's what that is. Anyway, so one thing I do realize, and I, I really appreciate more and more, is the value of time. I think when we're young, we just don't even think of time. We don't appreciate it, and maybe that's as it should be, because we have our whole future ahead of us. But as I've gotten older, I really do appreciate time and I don't do anything with my time that I don't want to do. We don't have really the same freedom to do that, I think, when we're younger, because I think we do have obligations, especially in the workforce. You know, there may be a meeting that we really don't want to go to. We don't like the presenter or we don't like the topic. <laughs> but, you know, as an employee, we're obliged to do certain things in the workplace that we really may not want to do. And so that is one of the privileges of being my age, being retired. I can spend my time whatever way I want to do, and it really is a wonderful freedom. Another thing that I changed my mind about is has to do with clothing. <laughs> For some reason, when I was young, unlike everybody in the world and including people my age and my friends wore jeans well I didn't wear jeans I don't know why I didn't wear jeans I don't really understand the rationale I just never owned a pair of jeans until about 20 years ago all of a sudden I decided well I'm going to wear jeans and I was quite pleased because, of course, I looked around and I got jeans that fit me well. And um, so I started wearing jeans. And I just can't even imagine life without them. I just love my jeans. I like the kind that have a bit of stretch to them. And I find that jeans are something that you can dress up or dress down. You can really go for a casual look or dress them up a little bit. So I don't know what I was thinking when I was young, but I changed my mind about jeans when I was probably in my early 60s. <laughs> so now I wear jeans, crazy. Another thing that I changed my mind about too, well, first of all, when I was going to high school, and you ladies who are around my age might've gone through the same thing. We all wore girdles. <laughs> 
And first of all, if we were wearing nylons, we needed to have those little snap things that would hold our stockings up. And often we wore a girdle or a gar at least a garter belt. Well, for many years, as I got into my 20s, and as pantyhose became available and there was really no need to be using any kind of snaps to keep up our hosiery, I completely stopped wearing any kind of shapewear or any kind of girdle until about, again, 20 years ago. <laughs> and I decided, you know, it might be a kind of a good idea, not necessarily to make me any slimmer, to look any slimmer or anything like that, but just to kind of smooth out some of those lumps and bumps, which of course I certainly had and have. <laughs> <laughs> so that's another area where I have changed and um, and so now I have some little kind of stretchy little panties that uh, suit the purpose for me just great even though it's hot you can see that I'm still using powder and I love this particular powder the Coty Air Spun. I just love it. And it has a beautiful, delicate scent, which just makes me feel so glamorous. Another thing that I used to use, and I actually discovered this only about three years ago, was all these facial oils. And apparently, rosehip seed oil is very, very good for the skin. So I tried some rosehip seed oil. I used it for several months, but rosehip seed oil has a very unique, distinct scent, which again, I just did not like the scent of rosehip seed oil, at least the particular one that I was using at the time. So I stopped using it. And then a couple of months ago, I tried a different rosehip seed oil, a different brand, with very many positive reviews, a really good product. I think it was the Life Flow brand. Anyway, I used that for a couple of months. And again, it still has that musty, I don't know, I don't know how to describe the scent, but I just don't like it. And I'm not using rosehip seed oil and that's all there is to it. So I've changed my mind about that. I would like to try other oils. There are many other oils which are really equally good for the skin. I also changed my mind about having a YouTube channel. When I first started to watch these beauty YouTubers and I would be sharing my experience with my children, for example, and because I was just absolutely delighted with everything that you could find on YouTube. I hadn't, this was during COVID when we were stuck at home. So I had all kinds of time to explore YouTube and then explore this beauty community in particular and in particular the beauty community for older women. I was just so impressed by some of these content creators and just would not m miss one of their videos. Well, my children were saying, well, mom, you know, why did you start a, a channel? <laughs> well, I just burst out laughing. I mean, I just had never thought of that. And they just kept encouraging me. So thanks to the encouragement of my children and other people, I decided to start my own channel. And uh, so that has been quite an adventure for me. And I'm glad I changed my mind about that because I am really enjoying this. And I just love that so many of my subscribers are young women. I just think that is marvelous. I'm honored that you would watch my videos. And if you have any questions at all for me, I do encourage you to ask because sometimes what content creators do is they sort of give a little biography about, they give a little autobiography about their lives. And I've actually done that pretty early on. I did give a little information about my life. 
But if you want to know more, please let me know and I'd be happy to do that. The fact is, I just can't understand sometimes why people would want to know about me. I'm nothing special, really. I just have had a pretty ordinary life in many ways, I suppose, maybe a little different in some ways. But if you would like to know more, I do encourage you to ask me and I'll consider doing a video about that. So these are just a few of the things that I've changed my mind about. And you know, we can do that. We can change our mind about anything. And we don't have to explain to anyone. We don't have to justify. And guess what? We can change our mind back too. If you want to live in a different place, you can sublet your apartment or your house or rent your house or whatever and go somewhere. Go somewhere for a year. Give yourself an adventure for a year. Especially if you're retired and you're not working. Just try it. You can always move back. So I just encourage you to have that sense of adventure, to know that just because you've made a decision about something doesn't mean that you can't change it. I'm going to uh, do my hair now and finish getting dressed and I'll be right back. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I always love having a little chat with you and sharing with you some things that have been on my mind. I'm ready for my day now. It's still a beautiful, hot, sunny day here. Summer is coming to a close very quickly here in Canada. Tell me about some things that you have changed your mind about. Maybe they were good things, maybe they were bad things, but remember, you can always change your mind back. Thank you again for being with me. I love and appreciate you all so very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.